Peterson's Wines was established in 1971 by Ian and Shirley Peterson with their son Colin to supply grapes to nearby wineries. Within a few vintages, the Petersons realized they had something exceptional on their hands. So they began to produce their own wine with the help of a young winemaker, Gary Reed. In October 1981, they opened the Mount View Cellar Door, making it one of the first boutique vineyards in Australia. The first release of Peterson's Wines also brought the first of many wine awards, medals and trophies. While the humble Mount View Cellar Door has still kept its homely feel under the stewardship of Colin, Peterson's Wines has grown and developed into an impressive operation. Many feel the success of Peterson's Wines is due to Colin's unique management style and what he calls his Peterson's Wine family. Mount View and its distinctive microclimates and soils have also played a major role. The rich volcanic soils, infused with limestone, found in the picturesque undulating ridges of Mount View wine country, are known in the wine world as soil gold. The ridge tops produce wonderful hunter Shiraz, including the world's famous Peterson's Back Block Shiraz. The lower ridges produce the outstanding Peterson Chardonnay. This unique combination of climate and soil is what the French call terroir. In the search of greater quality, Peterson's wines purchase premium vineyard estates in the famous grape growing regions of Mudgee and the cooler climate of Armadale. From its Mudgee vineyards, Peterson's obtains its award-winning Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot and Shiraz. From Armadale comes its highly regarded Pinot Noir and Sauvignon Blanc. It's because of Peterson's wines that Armadale is now known as one of the top cool climate wine regions in Australia. It's one thing to have great vineyards, but great wines only come from vineyards that are professionally cared for and meticulously maintained. As that famous Australian sunshine begins to do its job, the first buds of spring begin to appear. Then the buds start to swell and burst, and it's not long before the flowers start to shoot. By the middle of spring, the little berries begin to emerge that will end up in the wine glasses of the world. During this period, the vineyard team will spend their time controlling the growth and maintaining the health of the vines. As spring becomes summer, bunches start to develop, the berries start to grow, and by midsummer, they are almost full size. It is then they start to change color. The healthier the vines, the greater the amount of carbon their leaves produce. The vine stores that carbon in the grapes as sugar. So in turn, as the grapes ripen, the sugar in the grapes increases. The sugar is converted by the yeast into alcohol during the winemaking process. The timing of the harvest has a significant effect on the style and flavor, as well as the quality of the finished wine. It's important then that Peterson's winemaking team now become involved. The winemaking team is led by chief winemaker Gary Reed, who has now been part of the Peterson's wine family for over 33 years. Like Gary, most of the winemaking team have been part of the Peterson's wine family for numerous vintages. It is this that helps create the Peterson's wines of distinction. The process of converting grapes into wine is a very natural procedure, but to make quality wine, many skills are used. The making of fine wine is not just science, it is also an art. It's also a passion. Peterson's wines employ traditional winemaking processes while utilizing the most modern and updated technologies to produce their award-winning wines. First, the grapes are analyzed by the winery team. Only when the grapes are at their premium condition to make quality wines does the vintage begin. Vintage starts in the Hunter from mid-January 
with the harvest of the grapes to make sparkling wine, then the whites, finally finishing with the reds in Armadale in April. Harvesting usually takes place in the cool of night or early hours of the day. The freshly harvested grapes are promptly taken to the winery to be processed. Once the grapes reach the winery, they are placed into a hopper where a screw in the base takes the grapes to the crusher. The crusher destems the grapes before the grape berries are broken, releasing their juice. This creates a mixture of juice, seeds and skins, known as the must. The must is pumped into traditional open vat fermenters and left to soak. The red pigment, flavor and tannins are then released into the must from the skins. Within a few days, the yeast is added and this begins the job of converting the sugar into alcohol. When wine is fermented in a traditional open vat, a cap containing the skins rises to the top. This needs to be plunged back into the ferment four times a day to extract more color, flavor and tannins. The ferment takes two weeks. When completed, the now wine is pumped into the press. The first batch through the press is the free run. The residual skins, seeds and wine is shoveled out of the vat. It is then placed into the press, which separates the remaining wine from the skins and seeds. During the next 12 to 24 months, the red wine will be matured in oak barrels, and this is vital in the production of top quality red wine. In the oak barrels, the wine undergoes a very slow oxidation and evaporation process, which helps to soften the wine and adds further complexity to it by imparting the oak characters and flavors in the form of oak tannins. Before the wine goes into the bottle, it will be fine-tuned. This is where the art of winemaking really comes into play. At this important time, Colin gets involved, as he and his sales team are after the best wine that not only suits their customers' taste, but exceeds their expectations. The wine is now ready for bottling at the Peterson's Wine State-of-the-Art Bottling Plant. Regarded as one of the top quality bottling lines in Australia, it is the bottling family's job to make sure that all the hard work and quality control invested in the growing and making of the Peterson's wines is there in the bottle. Just as in the vineyard, winery and bottling, most of the cellar door family have been part of Peterson's wines for many years. It makes it more enjoyable when you have something really special to show customers. Keeping it all in-house gives the Petersons family quality control from the vineyard, through the winery, the bottling and on to the customer. This is why Petersons wines have always been wines of distinction. Thank you.